So, you have a movie for me? I am a collector! Australian legends! Funny segments! And go. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and we're gonna check out some Bruce Jew, the Rottweiler next door. This sounds very interesting. Um, I always had small dogs when I was a kid. We had like a Shih Tzu cross, like Australian Terrier, and then we had a Maltese for a little while. And uh, yeah, so I never had like big dogs, Rottweilers or anything. We did have people living next door to us that had like a St. Bernard when like the movie Beethoven came out. And they kind of, they, they like chained it up out the front of their house and then they chained it up out the back of their house. And, and we used to like chuck stuff over the fence to that dog to like eat. It was a bad situation. I'm pretty sure the uh, RSPCA got called. It was pretty f***ed up to be honest. Then on the other end of the scale, when I used to go and visit my granddad, I used to walk to the corner shop. There was a house right on the corner and there was a dog on the other side. I don't know what it was, but it sounded like it was trying to kill you. And the fence for this house was like leaning like this because this dog was just like hitting this fence like so much. And it was like on a corner as well. So you could totally see like the angle that this fence was on and you try and like sneak past there. But if he heard you like bang straight into the fence like every time. So I don't know what the hell that was all about, but it used to terrify me as a kid. So I'm interested to see what Bruce Drew has to say about the Rottweiler next door. Um... Is it going to be like the Wolverine? La, 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 la. Is that the, the Wolverine noise? <laughs> Let's check this one out. All right. Now, a lot of you guys know that I live next door to a kid named Michael. And a lot of you we guys do. know that I really didn't like going over his house that much. And that was for a couple of reasons. For one, his stepdad was a dick. And he would never let us eat or drink anything in the house. What do you think? I'm feeding the whole neighborhood? I don't work 23 hours a week at a goddamn Home Depot so you can sit around and drink all our Mountain Cooler Capri Suns. And for two... That's the second time I've heard that stepdad character say, what am I feeding the whole neighborhood? So I have a feeling there's a lot of truth. I'm sure all of these are rooted in truth, but that in particular, I'm pretty sure that would have been the thing that guy said a bunch of times for real. Well, they had this big ass Rottweiler named Nathan. Now who the hell names a Rottweiler Nathan, Nathan to begin with? That's a people's name. You could confuse the shit out of somebody if you're not careful. <laughs> They'd be ordering a pizza on the phone and shit. Yeah, I need a large stuffed crust with pepperoni on it. Oh, God damn it, Nathan, stop licking your asshole. It's bad, Nathan. You lick <laughs> Oh my god, that is so true. Oh, that is absolutely true. Whoa, a lot of lot going on on the screen right now. Pepperoni, please. Pizza, pizza slut. Asshole on your own time. Oh, sick. Dude, I think this guy's son's licking his own <laughs> asshole. Really? Wow, what a dirty little bastard. Now, this dog was big as hell. He was massive. If he was on a Pokemon card, you bet your ass he'd have 120 HP at least. He'd be Don't scrolling around the house references. looking for something to bench press, looking like a goddamn bodybuilder. Hey, you guys want to rub baby oil on me and watch me flex in the mirror? He was a big no dog, thanks, but he wasn't nice dog and he was super friendly to everybody everybody except for me that is i don't know what it was but as soon as i walked into hold on a second why does um matthew is that his his, his friend's name i can't remember his name why have they got a picture of oj simpson <laughs> wearing the the bloody gloves that don't fit on the wall what is that trying to say? That is a weird He was super friendly to everybody. Choice. Everybody except for me, that is. I don't know what it was, but as soon as I walked into Michael's house, Michael. Nathan would be like, Who the hell is this punky Brewster looking bastard? Uh, Michael, I don't think your dog likes me too much. Well, what makes you say that? Uh, I don't know. No reason in particular, I guess. So needless to say, Nathan... I'll talk about this after the video ends. A uh, friend of mine, his girlfriend's house, Doberman, old Doberman, going a little bit in the head... They thought it was hilarious as fuck that I was terrified of it. Nathan wasn't my biggest fan. And frankly, I wasn't the biggest fan of Nathan either. I mean, the dog's got eyebrows, for Christ's sake. How are you gonna trust a dog that has eyebrows? So I did my <laughs> best to keep my distance from Michael's house, as well as Nathan the Rottweiler. But on one particular day, I had to go over Michael's house. And that was because he rented the movie Rush Hour on VHS. And if you were nine years old in the late 90s like I was, your ass loved Rush Hour on VHS. <laughs> so we're sitting on the living room floor. We're all excited and shit. Even the dog's over there pumped up like oh yeah rush hour that's what i'm talking about <laughs> so we start watching this movie and we got this big ass bowl of popcorn in front of us oh is that my orville redenbacher that you're eating god damn it there you go feeding the whole goddamn neighborhood again, <laughs> again. and everything's going great until michael spills some popcorn on the floor that's when nathan comes over and he's like oh is that floor popcorn floor popcorn's my favorite and he starts eating the popcorn off the floor 
Can I just say, I love the animation of Nathan the Rottweiler and the voice and everything. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> so Michael tries to stop the dog from eating the popcorn by slapping him on the ass. Stop eating that popcorn, Nathan! And right when that happened, Nathan looks up at me like I was the one that slapped him in the ass. Did this punky Brewster bastard just slap me in my ass in my own house? This dog comes flying at me like a goddamn ninja turtle. I turn around and try to run, but the dog chomps down on my left ass cheek. I start screaming and shit. Bad Nathan! Bad Nathan! Nathan, don't you bite me in my ass! Take your teeth out of my ass cheek! Wow, he really is a dirty little bastard, isn't he? <laughs> is that the, the chick from the Pizza Hut? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm scuttling over to the front Pizza door, slut, Nathan's sorry. still teeth deep in my left ass cheek. Meanwhile, Michael and his stepdad are still watching Rush Hour without a goddamn care in the world. Why, do you think you can beat up Jackie Chan? Hell yeah, I can beat up Jackie Chan. I work at Home Depot, I can do anything. I'm trying to open the feed door the over here, them, and that's right? when Nathan decides to bite me in the back of the head. So at this point, I'm like, oh, okay, this is it. This is how I'm gonna die, via fucking Rottweiler. How fantastic. Somehow I get free, and I run out of Michael's house like the goddamn building's on fire. The back of my head's bleeding, as well as my ass cheek. I walk into my my house looking legit? like I just stormed the beaches of Normandy and shit. What the hell happened to you? Somebody kick your ass? Uh, it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? I got mauled in the back of my head, and then Nathan bit me in the ass cheek. Nathan bit you in the ass cheek? What kind of fucking friends are you hanging out with? <laughs> like two hours go by, and Michael comes over to my house. Dude, what the hell happened? Uh, well, your dog attacked me because he thought I was trying to sexually assault him. That's what the hell happened, Michael. <laughs> you didn't even get to see the end of Rush Hour. Yes, I know that, Michael, and that's the worst goddamn part. I'm never coming over to <laughs> your house again. Not as long as you got that goddamn dinosaur dog. And that's the the story of how I became a cat person. Now you'd think that to this day, I would be super paranoid of Rottweiler, since you know one of them did try to kill me in my friend's living room. And you would be yeah. correct in that assumption. But the thing is, is my wife is a big dog person. And she pretty much told me, oh, to hell with your traumatic childhood experience. We're gonna get a dog. And it's gonna be a big ass Rottweiler. So there he is. Look at him, looking what? all ferocious, ready to rip my face off. Look at those eyebrows. You can't trust those eyebrows. <laughs> now, of course, we had to name this dog when we got him. And I could only think of one name that would be no. appropriate. And that name, of course, is not fucking Nathan. Are you serious? <laughs> you really think I'd name a dog that? No. His name is Otis. Something more appropriate. Because who the fuck would name a dog Nathan? Oh, man. They le he led me down the expectation they called his friggin' Rottweiler Nathan. Man, yeah, I, f I fully relate to that. I remember going to my mate's girlfriend's house once and, um... I don't know, I, like, my mate went in first, and he, like, he said, oh, look, just wait here, like, in the front area. I think someone was asleep. It was, like, the house was incredibly dark in there. I think they were, like, shift workers or something. And I walk in there, and I stand there, and I can't even see this Dobum. And it's all black Dobum. Big, massive, like, muscular one. Like, you know, it would, would have been, like, you know, up near my waist kind of thing. A big, big boy. Big girl? Sam, I think its name was. Again, Sam. Come on. You got Nathan and Sam, the Doberman and the Rottweiler. Um, and I remember just standing there once, and this was the first time I was there. My mate didn't bother t to tell me, hey, watch out, there's a fucking Doberman in there, like, you know, just chill. He should have just said, wait outside. So I'm standing in there, this dog walks around the corner, and it just, like, locks eyes on me. And I'm like, hey, man, how's it going? And it just started barking. I, I, I think it was, like, a deadlock behind me. I had nowhere to freaking go. They come out. I was rattled. And, uh, yeah. Jamie and Renee thought that um, this was fucking hilarious. So, thanks guys. Scarred me for life. And uh, that's not why I'm a cat person, but I, I do prefer cats just because they're much quieter and cleaner and uh, will not chew up all my uh, action figure shit. So, that being said, they did once. So, yeah, I enjoyed that one. The Rottweiler next door definitely re related to a lot of that. I'd love to know if that was true. Did he actually get bitten and mauled and his shithead friend was like, ooh, ooh, where'd you go? The kind of thing. Like, damn, man. Is that the last, is this the last we're ever going to hear of Michael? I don't think it is. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought about that one. Subscribe if you're new. I've got heaps of stuff coming up. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm doing Peacemaker at the moment. Done Marvel's What If. I've done Hawkeye. So go check out the playlists. Everything is all lined up in there nice. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe. Look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.